What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I am back with my second quick hit scouting report video of the day. This one is going to be for the New York Giants. Let's jump right into it. Another team that is bad, another 1-5 team, another team the Dolphins have no excuse to lose to, but we shall see what happens when we get there. For now, let's just take a quick look at the Giants and where they stand. They just lost to the Los Angeles Chargers who moved to 5-1 and one by a margin of 38-11 to 11, so they obviously got absolutely destroyed and the Giants dropped to 1-5. and five. So let's take an even further look. Uh, the Giants had 261 total yards, obviously not very good, and they gave up 365. They had 201 through the air, giving up 234. They had 60 on the ground, giving up 131 to the Chargers. They had 3.6 yards per play, obviously not very good, giving up five and a half. Uh, let's see, they did let a, uh, they did give up one fumble and three interceptions, but they did also get two interceptions, so offset a little bit. Although they obviously still lost the turnover battle two to one, uh, and they let up four sacks and also, but also got two sacks of their own. They were only 26% on third down, but they only let the Chargers convert on 18%, so that's good. They had uh, the ball for 27-38, allowing the Chargers to have it for 32-22. Giants had the ball, or had five penalties, excuse me, and the Chargers had seven. All right, take a jump up here. Let's take a look at this. Daniel Jones was 29 for 51, 242 yards with three interceptions. Devontae Booker led the way rushing, 12 rushes for 41 yards and a 3-4. Elijah Penny, three rushes, 15 yards, one touchdown and a five average. In the receiving game, Sterling Shepard led the way, 10 for 14 and 76 yards. Dante Pettis, 5, for 11, five out of 11 for 48. Kadarius Toney, 3 of 3, 36. Devontae Booker, 4 of 4 for 28. Evan Ingram, 3 of 5 for 24. And Colin Johnson, 2 of 5 for 21. Um, yeah, I mean, it's repetitive, bro. The Dolphins suck right now. There's a lot of problems going on with them. What else am I supposed to say? I mean, the New York Giants, again, they're a team that the Dolphins absolutely should win against. There really is no excuse for them to lose. And it's another one of the games that I assume that when I get to that game, the preview game, I will be predicting a win. Um, even though they are as shitty as they are, just because of the fact that the Giants are also super shitty. But you never know, man, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, just for a little added context, Matthew Stafford was 22 for 28, 251 yards, four touchdowns with one interceptions, or one interception. John Wolford came in, threw two passes, neither of them were com completed, including one that was an interception. Uh, Daryl Henderson led the way rushing, 21 rushes, 78 yards, a touchdown, and a 3-7 average. Sony Michelle, 9 rushes, 42 yards, and a 4-7. Matthew Stafford added in 2 rushes for 12 yards and a 6 average. Obviously, too, though, I mean, let's keep it, let's keep it real and let's be fair. The Chargers are, or excuse me, why, why do I keep saying the Chargers? The Rams. The Rams, I mean, the, the Chargers are also a really good team. But excuse me, it's these L.A. teams, bro. Um... Funny enough, I live out in L.A., so I shouldn't be making this mistake. But, correction, the Rams, the Rams are a really good team. And the Giants are not a really good team. So, you know, a 38-11 to 11, um, uh, score is actually about what you would expect, something along those lines. Now, when the Dolphins, I mean, the Dolphins going into the season with the expectations that we had, you know, you would think that they would be somewhere in that category, but... I don't see that being the case. Anyway, Cooper Cup, 9 for 12, uh, 130 yards, 2 touchdowns. Tyler Higby, 5 of 5, 36. Robert Woods, 2 of 5 for 31 and a score. Daryl Henderson, 2 of 3, 29 and a touchdown. Van Jefferson, 3 of 4 for 19. But yeah, I mean, we're obviously not on the same level as the Rams when it comes to the the you know quality of product that we're putting on the field, the coaching staff, any of that stuff. So, you know... Um, while maybe the expectations going into the season would be that, you know, the Dolphins should blow the Giants out because the Giants are bad and the Dolphins are so much better. I think what people are realizing and what I've been trying to tell people for, you know, months now 
is, is the Dolphins are not actually that good, and they have a ton of issues that are going to hold this team back, including the coaching and so on and so forth. So, you know, it is what it is. I think that if the Dolphins do end up coming away with a win from this game, it's probably going to be a relatively low-scoring game and just barely. But unfortunately, as is the case with most of these teams, except for maybe the team that I just did the vi did my video on, the Houston Texans, a lot of these teams, even as, as bad as they are record-wise, they still beat us, and pretty significantly in a lot of categories. I mean, look at the Giants' offense. They're actually, in a lot of these categories, not that bad or some of these categories, um, at least when it comes to total yards and passing yards, not the other categories here. And, and, you know, that could be an area to provide some opportunities. But, you know, I mean, we'll see, man. We'll just, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, that's not until week 13, so we still got a little ways to go. Let's get into this. The Giants are currently 15th in total offense with 2,164 total yards on the season and 360.7 per game. Obviously, that's better than the Dolphins. They're 11th in total passing with 1,720, but 10th currently in per game average with 286.7. The <clears throat> excuse me, choking on my own spit there a little bit. Uh, they are 24th in total rushing with 539, 25th in per game average with 89.8. They're 26th in total points with 114, and 27th or 25th after ties included with 19 points per game. Defensively, they're not very good on defense. They have some categories, takeaways, they're actually doing all right. Um, and passes defense and third down defense, they're obviously way better than us. But other than that, their defense isn't particularly great and certainly an area in which the Dolphins' offense could potentially take advantage. Yards per game, they're giving up 401.3, which is 27th. Passing yards, 275.5 per game, which is 21st. Uh, 137.2 rushing yards per game, which is 29th. They're giving up 29.5 points per game, which is 30th or 24th after ties. They have eight takeaways, which is 11th or 7th with ties. Interceptions, 5th, or excuse me, 5, 13th, with, uh, 7th with ties included. They have three fumbles, which is 13th or 5th with ties. Sacks, they have 10, which is 28th or 11th with ties. Passes defense, they have 26th which is 12th or 6th with ties, and 3rd down percentage. They're giving up 43%, which is 20th in the league. And just as a comparative note, as usual, here are the Dolphins' current offensive and defensive league standings. Obviously, we are in the bottom of the league in damn near every category, which is super unfortunate, but that's also... what. Uh, part of the context as to why, you know, there are no gimme games for the Dolphins at this point in particular. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these bad teams they could lose against and teams that they should be winning, they could lose against. They should have beat the Colts. They should have beat um, the Jags and obviously didn't because it's, you know, a lot of people love to blame the quarterback, but obviously the issues are far greater than the quarterback situation. And while I do think the Dolphins are going to end up making the desperation move for Deshaun Watson, I do not believe that he solves all of these issues and fixes the season. So anyway, with that, that is going to wrap up my quick hit scouting report video uh, for the New York Giants in week six. Real quick before I do my sign off, make sure you check out the Rave On Sports app. It is a new fan based, fan driven sports app aiming to increase, enhance your game day experience with live play by plays, live chat with other fans and content creators like myself. Check out in the description box for the link links for that. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.